Hey everyone, welcome to another stream. We finally got the Ahsoka trailer and it seems we actually have the date. And I was wondering about this. I'm like, are they going to go back to the Fridays? Because if you remember, Mando came out on Fridays. Well, really like Thursday night at 11.59pm. And then they switched it all of a sudden randomly, I think, with Boba. Was it? Yeah, with Boba it was like Wednesdays and then Kenobi was Wednesdays. So I don't know, whatever reason they switched to Wednesdays. I don't know but anyways we got the trailer so let's go ahead and watch it it's like 31 seconds long but we get the actual date so let's check it out it's been a while things have changed i started hearing whispers about thrawn's return as heir to the empire we have to prepare for the worst okay. the jedi fell a long time ago there aren't many left it is time to begin again ahsoka original series streaming august 23rd august 23rd there we go wednesday august 23rd so watch parties are going to be back obviously on a tuesday night late at night uh as you know like probably one of my favorite things to do on the channel with you guys but yeah i don't think there's really anything new to talk about in this trailer i think it's i think this is new and i'm uh, suspecting that thrawn comes out uh, of here I guess but look the vibe i'm getting on this show is that it's literally going to be heir to the empire but they're switching luke with ahsoka and it kind of makes me wonder if they're going to incorporate luke or not but i guess we'll have to wait and see um as far as the show goes it's eight episodes long i think i think it's supposed to be an hour each episode but i could be wrong about that that was like a rumor and then it might have been debunked but yeah so hopefully, you know, the episodes are nice and long and uh, we get to sit there for a while. But watch it again. Okay. It's been a while. Things have changed. I started hearing whispers about Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. We have to prepare for the worst. Okay. The Jedi fell a long time ago. There aren't many left. My main interest, well, not my main, but one of my major interests is to see who she is. You know, like, is she Balin's, and Balin is the villain, is she Balin's apprentice? Is it maybe his daughter? Which would be weird, considering he was a Jedi. And today, of course, we have confirmation that he is a surviving Jedi of Order 66. He's an Order 66 survivor. But he's now a mercenary for hire. So... Thrawn, I imagine, hired him. And they're really, you know, picking from the Heir to the Empire story. However, of course, Balin most likely isn't an evil clone, just like Jorus Sabiath was. Um, yeah, so, anyways, nothing really crazy, nothing really new. Kind of just seems like the only thing new here is that they released the date, which is uh, August 23rd. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Nothing else going on. Rumor George buying Lucasfilm? Uh, I don't think so, my apprentice. Six minute episodes, take it or leave it? I hope not, dude. You know what? I, I really hope that they make some longer episodes for um, Tales of the Jedi. I think that was a show that I enjoyed probably the most out of anything else. Can't stop seeing Xana. Yeah. Yeah. For those who don't know, Xana was Darth Bane's apprentice. Um, her other name was Rain, which is the name of my dog. But need an order 67, 66 field. <laughs> Buy Lucasfilm for 1 billion. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's worth more than 1 billion. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. But it's interesting how they both have orange sabers. And I was going over this in a video. And I think it's kind of like how Mace Windu had a purple saber with the blue and the red. But he was teetering on the light side more so, but using a bit of the dark at least had dark side tendencies. And I think it's the same with these guys with their orange saber. It's that they're not fully red, but they're not blue or anything else either. So they're kind of like, they're not like yellow, right? They're kind of like in between. So, but, you know, teetering more to the dark side. So that's my thoughts on that. What I like, Tales of the Sith. Yeah, you know, so they have books called Tales of the Jedi, Tales of the Sith, Tales of the Bounty Hunter, and they could make shows on that too. And I just think that that would be such a great opportunity for them to really showcase 
first of all, Dave Filoni's ability to write awesome animated shows, but also to explore more of the characters. Mary Jaden Filoni movie leaked. Go look. No. Oh, what's up, Diamond? Loving the heavy space wizard vibes coming in the show. Been dying to have more mystic themes and live action really feels like the U. Yeah, and I think that's one thing people are really excited for with the show is that it does feel very much extended universe, which I'm really looking forward to because everything else has felt um, anything but that. So, yeah. Vader episode two news. Um. I made a video about that a few days ago. Yeah. Yeah. I watched the previs. It was great. And we're just basically finished that now. Um, then we have to go to animation. We're just moving. We're moving pretty fast now. Which is nice considering there were so many hiccups and, you know, issues going forwards. But um, those seem to be ironed out now and finally making some progress, which is great. Will we get Anakin flashbacks? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a lot of Anakin flashbacks, man. A lot during the Clone Wars. And, you know, this could bring in Obi-Wan. It could bring in Padme. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I really wouldn't be. But what I'd like to see the most is Luke talking to Ahsoka about Anakin and about how Vader died because she doesn't know. She wasn't there. She has no idea. Whatever happened to your Spotify, much love. I have amazing news about Spotify. Just give me a few more days. You guys will know everything. Happy birthday day to Dave Filoni. Is it Dave Filoni's birthday today? Okay. Tales of Jabba's Palace would be cool. Yeah, it would be cool. Yeah, you just want to see what goes on in those uh, Twi'leks. Have there been any news of Hayden returning for this? Yes, Hayden is returning. He's confirmed to be returning for this. Yeah. Hayden is an Ahsoka. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this. It's interesting. What's up, Yash? Welcome to the channel, man. Okay, well, I'm going to go on the gaming channel now. I'm going to stream some games. We're either going to do Diablo 4 or we're going to do something else. I'm not really sure what we could play, but I'll let you guys decide with that i still have zelda to play which i haven't yet I purchased it I'm trying to look for it. I don't know where it is anyways we're gonna go do that so make sure to go to theories arcade if you're interested i'm gonna live stream over there but as for this yeah nothing too new in this teaser trailer whatever this is but we did get the official date which is great so that's good <laughs> august 23rd see you guys at the watch parties it's gonna be a good time my first live event what's up bill and, and now it's the, your first ended live event <laughs> I've stepped away from Star Wars. I can't stay positive any longer. I do hope you'll enjoy the hell out of it, Star Wars Theory. I understand that, and I respect it. Uh, I think there are still some pretty good things that can come out of Star Wars, depending on who is behind it. But yeah, I know I understand what you're going through. Because I was going through... Well, I still am going through something like that, similar myself, so... Yeah. Can you do a live watch of original trilogy behind the scenes? You mean like the bonus DVDs that I used to do? Yeah. I was catching up with your other videos. Yeah, two new videos today, guys. Go check it out if you so wish. But yeah, that's it for this one. Love you guys. I'll catch you later. Have a great day.